Hello and welcome to another Ice Tech FAQ from Manitowoc Ice. My name is Josh Capadlo. I'm a technical trainer. And today we're going to discuss the wrench light on the Neo under counters. This is something we've been getting a lot of requests about. I figure we can take a deep dive into it and help some people out. As you can see, our wrench light is solid red. This means that the machine has acted up enough times consecutively, depending on the fault, in order to shut the machine down and set the light on solid. This particular machine has the ability to set only three service faults. You have service fault one, which is for excessive freeze times. You have service fault two, which is for excessive harvest times. And then service fault three is what we call a water fault. And this is when the machine does not see the trough get full of water at the beginning of the freeze cycle. So you might be wondering, how do I know which fault caused my light to come on solid? The way to identify this is you simply press the power button and you watch the amount of blinks on the wrench. So here we saw three blinks. That means that we set a service limit number three. This means that we've reached four minutes and the water did was not sensed. The float remained down and so the ice machine stopped. It had to have done this 100 consecutive times in order for it to lock out on this fault. Now that you know how to retrieve the trouble codes from the machine, let's take a dive into each of the three codes to see what causes them. All of the information related to the codes that we're going to be covering today can also be found in your technician's handbook for this machine. You can receive a copy of your technician's handbook by attending a level two field training class to your local distributor or a level three factory class here at the training center in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Now that we know how to retrieve the codes using the power button and monitoring the wrench light, let's start by taking a look at fault code number one or safety limit number one. Safety limit number one is a long freeze fault. And if you take a look at your technician's handbook, you will see that the time for the long freeze varies by the software version. So now we're going to show how to retrieve the software version from your control board so you know what parameters the board is looking for in order to set a safety limit number one. I've gone ahead and removed the louvered panel as well as the control box cover. And if you take a look at the sticker on the relays, you'll see we're currently running software version 3.5. So for our machine here running version 3.5, we're gonna have a maximum freeze time of 35 minutes. Now that we know we have a 35 minute maximum freeze time, we'll get the flashing wrench light if we experience that three times consecutively. If we experience it six times consecutively, the machine will lock out with the solid wrench light like we saw in the beginning, except with fault number one, when you turn the machine on, you'll get one flash, not the three that we experienced today. In order to properly diagnose fault code number one or the long freeze fault, you can use symptom number two and its flow chart in the technician's handbook to help diagnose this machine and come up with the real root cause. Moving on to safety limit number two, Safety limit number two is a long harvest fault, and you would use your symptom number three and four flow chart in your technician's handbook to find the root cause of that fault code. A safety limit number two fault will not initiate a blinking wrench light. You will know that you had a safety limit number two fault one or two times because the safety number two light will blink on the control board. If you experience a safety limit Number two fault three consecutive times, the wrench light will turn on solid. The last fault that we have is the safety limit number three. We call this one the water fault. And this one here is a little different than the other faults. The machine only looks for this situation to occur after a first batch of ice is made. So whether it just came out of bin full or if you just turned it on for it for a cycle of ice, it will not monitor for this fault on that first batch. Any subsequent batch after that first batch, what the machine is looking for is for the water trough to fill with water within four minutes of it being in freeze. If we fill with water in less than four minutes, great. But anything over four minutes, the machine is going to shut off for 30 minutes go back into a freeze mode and try to refill again. If it does this 100 times without successfully filling with water, it's going to do a hard lockout on a number three fault with the wrench light solid like we saw at the beginning of the video. I hope this video cleared up some questions and misunderstandings about the wrench light on the Neo undercounter machine. 
You now know how to use the wrench light as a tool to gather fault codes and understand a little bit more what's going on with the machine. You should now know how to go through your technician's handbook and utilize that as the tool that it is with the diagnostic flow charts, the component troubleshooting procedures that are in there as well. From all of us here at Manitowoc Ice, we appreciate you tuning in to another Ice Tech FAQ. Leave a comment below for what you'd like to see in an upcoming video. Remember to like and subscribe for more content.